If you have bone on bone osteoarthritis of a joint like the shoulder, would re regenerative injections like stem cells or exosomes be helpful? What about cortisone shots? In this video, I discuss the pros and cons of the various options. My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I hope you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. This is another video that's part of my Ask the Doctor video series based on questions you've left me in the comments to the videos on my channel. Here's the question from a viewer. I was just diagnosed with bone on bone shoulder arthritis. The doctor says I need a shoulder replacement. I'm not doing it. I consider cortisone shots if the pain gets worse, but I'd like to avoid them. Would stem cell regeneration be a possibility down the road? Now, before I answer that, two things. One, as all of my videos, this is not meant for medical advice. It's not medical advice. I'm giving you general information and education. Also, all of the regenerative treatments I mentioned here are considered experimental by the FDA. I'm only giving information. I'm not promoting them or telling you that you should do them. Please talk to your orthopedic surgeon about the best options for you. As far as cortisone, what this viewer initially got at, the concern about cortisone, I've talked about in a number of videos generally, that it can wear down cartilage and bone over time. Certainly, the more you do them, the faster that it speeds up the arthritis. That's been shown in a number of studies. Now, the argument would be once you're bone on bone, does it really matter anymore? The argument that the joint replacement surgeons would say is no, probably not. And if it gets you some pain relief to delay the surgery, so be it. The concern I, I would potentially maybe add to that, at least with the shoulder, is that it might weaken the rotator cuff tendons, especially repeated cortisone shots, making that an additional problem on top of the arthritis, potentially making more a more difficult surgery in terms of what you have to do or, or the technical, the type of prosthesis you might use and something like that. That's a sort of a whole other subject. Earlier on in the arthritis realm, especially if you don't have arthritis, I'm definitely not a fan of cortisone, but I understand it once it gets to the bone on bone uh, options, especially at that point, uh, something like visco supplementation, the synvisc, the suparts, and the variety of those don't typically help that much. Now, to be fair, once it's bone on bone arthritis, cortisone doesn't typically help that much either. As far as the regenerative treatments, once again, it's bone on bone, things like stem cells, exosomes, the more regenerative options, maybe even platelet-rich plasma, probably not going to regenerate the cartilage much at all. It may help delay the need for knee, hip, shoulder replacement, but probably isn't going to get you back, almost certainly not going to get you back to the way you were when you were a teenager or a young adult. Having said that, maybe it gets you some pain relief. Maybe it improves your function for a little while, allowing you to delay that surgery. That would sort of be what you're looking for. But again, once it's very, very arthritic, there's very little cartilage left. The bone edges are rubbing against each other. So it creates a lot of pain with range of motion. There really aren't a lot of treatment options. Yes, I tend to prefer regenerative options over the steroids and, and treatments, the, the conventional treatments. But again, that's experimental, cons uh, considered experimental by the FDA. I tend to think exosomes potentially are more promising than stem cells, but th there's a lot of variables when it comes to stem cells but all are worth talking to your orthopedic surgeon. Now, I've written an ebook about osteoarthritis. It's called The Arthritis Solution. You can get a free copy of that by clicking in the description below this video. There's a link right at the top. If you have an orthopedic injury and you want to hear about options other than surgery and other than cortisone shots, click that link and you can go. It'll take you to a contact form. You can learn more about scheduling an appointment with me. I'd also love to hear about your experience with your injury or arthritis or whatever it is. Leave those in the comments below this video. Just know that if you leave a question in those comments, I can't respond with medical advice, but I might answer your question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thanks for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.